Meantime, two Filipino doctors in Toronto are changing the way kids learn science by staging events to show how fun and interesting science can be beyond the textbook. Rachel Cruz has more. Welcome to the Pueblo Science Science Show. It's science made fun, thanks to Filipino doctors Miro Salvador and Dr. Cynthia Go. The two doctors founded Pueblo Science, a local nonprofit organization working to raise science literacy in underprivileged communities in Canada and the developing world. I come from the northern Philippines. It's a small village in Ilocos Norte, and I grew up there, and I actually see um, a lot of practices that, you know, with proper knowledge would have been avoided um, that's affecting the life of people there, like for example their health or you know, lots of people still burn forests even up, up to these days. So I think if, um, so that got me thinking about you know, trying to educate the kids at a younger age for them to be able to make better decisions um, when they actually grow up. Dr. Go is from Palawan. She says the time spent there was an inspiration for Pueblo Science. Yes, yeah, so I actually volunteered to work with the school then. And then uh, that summer, I created a summer camp for the kids. So I did that for a couple of years. And then the teachers from the barrios, they came. So, and they were very enthusiastic and they wanted to observe the kids. And that's when I thought, no, we should really do some work with the teachers. Uh, how we can make things affordable and hands-on. U of T students with science backgrounds volunteer to work with the organization. Primarily here, it's just been about doing science demonstrations for both adults and youth, and then creating science kits that we can bring overseas. Like traveling caravans, Pueblo Science goes to many places. One of them was the Family Sundays at Heart House, showcasing curious kids' love science experiments. Just like Harry Potter's invisible cloak, Dr. Salvador shows a magic trick and explained how the speed of light affects what is seen or unseen. These days with Pueblo Science, we try to relate anything that we teach to the kids or to the teachers with things that they see around them for them to be able to understand the world that's surrounding them better. Six volunteers from Pueblo Science will be heading back to the Philippines from April to May of this year and their first stop will be in Palawan, Batanes and Ilocos Norte. These science educators will be training teachers on how to develop a more fun and engaging science lessons using locally available materials. Rachel Cruz, ABS-CBN News, Toronto.